everyone. Today I'm going to share a home goods haul. Stay tuned. Hi guys and welcome back to Creative Glam. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. And if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. My name is Sharon and I'm so glad you stopped by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit that notification bell twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I upload new videos every Tuesday and Thursday, so be sure to come back and tune in. And also, leave me a comment, and I'd love it if you gave me a thumbs up. Today on Creative Glam, I'm going to share with you a home goods haul. I am updating my powder room. So I was at Home Goods and I saw this autumn wreath hand soap and lotion and I thought it was so pretty I love this like apothecary type jar with the fancy label that come in their own separate dish I thought that was so pretty and I thought that's gonna look so nice in my powder room I also got a candle bergamot waters I just recently did a haul where I purchased some candles from Bath and Body Works. But when I find a good candle for a good price, I pick them up. Um, I didn't mention the hand soap. That set cost $6.99. And these uh, bergamot water candles were $3.99 each. That's one of the reasons I got it. I love candles. And when I find one with a great scent um, and a decent throw, because I burnt these before and the throw on these were pretty good. So I purchased them again for $3.99. You can't beat that. It's not necessarily a fall candle, but it's a pretty color and the throw is really good and you can't beat it for the price. And then I also got a uh, mango coconut and these are probably more, they're probably more of a summer fragrance, but that's okay. I can add it to my collection and I love this. And it's just what it says. It's a mango coconut scent. Not necessarily a fall scent. Love the color. And again, the price, $3.99. That's what made me go for it. I got some napkins to go into the powder room. They're like a marble to go in that bathroom as well. And these I paid $5.99 for. And you get how many? 15. And you get 15 napkins. I got some spray and go. It's like the poopery. You spray it in the bathroom before you go as a courtesy. Um, so I usually try and keep one of these in the bathroom. I would have gotten the poopery, but they didn't have any. So I went with the stay and go, the spray and go, excuse me, spray and go. This was $9.99. So the color scheme in there, I'm pretty much going with, I'm just refreshing it up a little bit. The um, towels and this is a who? This is a Hamilton Belfour. Hamilton Belfour towel. And it is a gray. It is a, a silver type gray towel. And how much was it? $9.99. I thought that was a decent price. So these are not towels that I'll be using. These are just decorative, just decorative towels. That's why I bought the napkins. So if you happen to wash your hands in this bathroom, you can use the uh, paper napkins to dry your hands. These are just for decor. And then I found these two. I thought these hand towels, you got a pack of six hand towels um, that are 12 by 12. And these are Soho Homes. And I got those for $7. And this is pretty much the theme that's in there. Um, an ashy gray, a white, uh, ashy sage, and a burnt orange. And then this single, <clears throat> and this single, single one cost three. And then I got a set of kitchen towels. And I'm thinking of putting one of these kitchen towels in the actual bathroom. Um, you've seen these before at Home Goods. They're fluffy. Um, they are they are the um, what are they? The Prairie set of three kitchen towels, and um, it's green, teal, tan, white, and again, I thought this color matches matched this so well. I might use one of these kitchen towels in the actual makeover in the powder room. But we'll see once I get started. Um, 
but I know that I will use one of these in my kitchen. I'm sorry I didn't remove the paper before I got started, but I just got back. So I wanted to get this filmed um, as soon as possible. But isn't that beautiful? Look at this vase, guys. This is absolutely gorgeous. How much did, this was on sale for $11. I think that is so cute. Can you see that? It was originally how much? It was originally 15 and I caught it for 11 and I just thought that was beautiful. Look at that. As a matter of fact, you know me, if I got one, I love the colors on this. Um, this one was originally $12.99 and I got it for 10 but I thought those were absolutely beautiful. It's almost like a foamy, I don't know how they did that. <laughs> it's really pretty. It's a, it's a, it's like an aquamarine teal that goes up into a gray and a white. I love it. I love these two vases. I think they're so pretty. Bathroom on the vanity. Oh, I thought this was really cute. It's a little plastic, um, lantern you know it's and it has a battery in it it comes with a battery you can put a battery in the bottom and turn it on and off um i thought it was a little overpriced i paid 12.99 for it by home trends um but i thought it was the perfect size for my powder room i don't have any shelves or anything in my powder room um, so mostly everything will sit either on the vanity or on the back of the ledge on the toilet. So I can use this in other rooms and for vignettes. Um, so it's currently white, but I also see paint in its future. <laughs> the top does come off on this. So I thought that was kind of cool too. So it'll be easier to paint when I decide to change the color on this powder room accessories i thought this was really pretty it's a gray and white and a little gold and i think that was one of the reasons that i liked it so much is it lends itself to like a mixed metal type look it's a little white it's a little gray and it's a little gold so no matter what my color theme is this would work and i like that i like it quite a bit how much was this this was $14.99. Did get some other pieces that go with this, the matching um, waste basket. You could probably see a little better what the color is on that. And the waste basket cost um, $24.99. It's heavy. So I can throw a liner in there because I hate when you get crud in the bottom of the garbage, in the bottom of the waste basket. It drives me insane. Um, so I will make sure I keep this covered so I don't have to clean it up but I thought that was beautiful I love the design on there it's white silver gray and gold anyway it's absolutely beautiful I love this tray I think this is so cute and they have a whole set where um the whole bathroom set I didn't want the whole set but I love the tray um I'm it's probably going to go in the master bathroom because I can see putting my jewelry on here when I'm uh, washing my face at night uh, this ceramic glass was $8.99, a ceramic tray, I should say. I could also use this, I see using this on my nightstand. Um, I have some hand lotion that I got from Paris as well. And I could see myself putting this on my nightstand and just putting a couple trinkets in there. I think that will be pretty too. Raymond Waits is who this is by. This is the um, uh, tissue holder. Really cute. And one of the reasons I went ahead and got this was that I know that it can do double duty. Um, I can take it and use it for just as as its a intended purpose uh, for tissue. Or this thing can be turned upside down and used as a vase as well. So that was another reason that I went ahead and paid what I did. I paid, how much is this? $15.99, which I thought was a little high, but I knew it could do double duty. I, that's how I justified spending what I spent for anyway, in my mind. <laughs> I think it's like a toothbrush and toothpaste holder. I wasn't going to get this. I debated and I went back and forth over it a couple times and I almost didn't get it. 
But the reason that I did was I thought that it could also have a double duty life. I mean, I there's no obviously there's not going to be any toothbrush toothbrushes or toothpaste in this, but I thought it would be a cute little planter. Again, it's something that you can put potpourri in um and sit it in the bathroom or wherever you decide to put this because it doesn't because of the design on this it does not necessarily have to go in a bathroom and that's how i was looking at it in my mind when i looked at it i could see uh potpourri in this i could also see flowers in it i think that would be really cute or even succulents so uh, that was my reasoning behind getting this piece um and this piece was 9.99 mm. Yes, people. I purchased another pumpkin. Like, I need another pumpkin in my life. I really don't. I don't know what this fascination is that I have with pumpkins. I never used to have this fascination before. But here for the last two or three years, I have collected so many freaking pumpkins. It's insane, okay? I, I don't know why. I love blue, as you all know. Uh, varying shades, whether it's a teal type blue or whether it's a navy blue. And the whole spectrum in between. I love blue. And I have a fair share of blue pumpkins. <laughs> but something about this pumpkin, it was talking to me. And it said, Sharon, put me in the basket, please. And I complied. Um, it is $9.99 is what I paid. And that's a pretty good price considering the other blue pumpkins that I got, I got from Pier 1. And um, they were considerably smaller. So this is a pretty decent sized pumpkin for $9. So I, I, that's how I justified this purchase was that I'd have paid a lot more for this pumpkin had I got it from Pottery Barn. <laughs> okay, guys, that's it. We're all done. Thank you so much for tuning in to my home goods haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below along with the notification bell. Hit the notification bell twice. This way you'll be notified when I upload new videos. And I upload new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And on that note, you have a blessed day. And I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye!